Good morning to you. I'm Teresa Dufour, and CT Style remains on hiatus. We bring you today's CT Style Express. Now, during these uncertain times, many people have questions about personal injury and workers' compensation and the law in general. That's why News 8 has partnered with the Goff Law Group to bring you the law down. Attorney Brooke Goff joins us via Zoom from her office in West Hartford. Attorney Goff, it's always great to see you. It's great to see you too. However, I can't wait for this to not be an express anymore, right? We can I know. be so we're back, back in, in and I think the whole crossed. world wants that at this point. I know fingers crossed, right? I have to All stop right. looking at my Twitter feeds for the numbers going up and down. I can't. Uh, I know. It's, it's not good for the soul, you know. We yeah, do what we can. And today, uh, Brooke, we're focusing on car accidents. Uh, you're an expert in this field. So I think if you can give us the basics. Tell us what happens, some of the first steps you need to take when you are involved in a car accident. So it used to, I used to do a thing where I would say, okay, you need to know these three things. But then they merged into more, right? Okay. They morphed, I should say, into more. So here's the deal. Uh, first, if you're in a car accident, report it. Some people say, hey, just, you know, um, just exchange information. Don't do that, okay? Never a good idea. Then there's no record of it. So in the event that you are injured, let's say your injury is significant, you find out down the road. Um, let's say the driver gave you a bad insurance card or a bad mm. license or whatever, and you don't have any other proof, it's, it's not going to happen for you. You're buying yourself an actual court lawsuit. Um, so always call the police. If it's like, you know, sometimes with heavy snow and what have you, they'll say exchange information, fine uh, in that situation, but let them tell you that. Don't, mm. don't just do that on your own. Don't play police officer. Just like I tell you, don't play lawyer and don't play doctor. So first call the police. 911, obviously. Um, one thing you need to remember, though, okay, is that you need to have, um, you need to make sure you keep your keep your your candor, okay. Just just keep it together. Don't come off as angry. Just be even keeled because these calls are recorded. Sure. So, and if I and they can be gotten later. So, a good attorney is going to get them. I get all of my clients, and I know what I'm facing. So, if I have a client that's calling all kinds of names at somebody or something else. Um, I, I mean, I could tell you stories, but I had a sweet little lady that was like four feet eight, the nicest one we've ever met. Like every time she came in, she brought me like, I, she made me like cornbread one time. It was awesome. On that call, I couldn't believe it was the same person, but I, <laughs> but guess what? I, I, and she's like, well, I was upset and I go, I get it. But a jury in a, in a, in a insurance company are going to hear that. Yeah. And that's going to give them some ammunition. So don't give them ammunition. Keep your cool, understand it's recorded and there's nothing you can do to stop it from being recorded. Take yeah. pictures, take out the expensive cell phone, iPhone, whatever we're at now, what, 12, 13, 14, mm -hmm. whatever. Take pictures of the cars, take pictures of the damage to your car, their car, their license plate. Guys, the license plate. So so important because that picture of the license plate when they try to claim well that's not me and that wasn't my car well mm -hmm. here's the license plate and there it is so take pictures of that and if they allow you to take pictures of their license and their insurance card but don't get in a fight over it or anything like that just if they if they're if they're good a lot of people get nervous they start taking all their papers and throwing them at you just take pictures of them okay um and get medical attention if you need it all right so don't play doctor um you know a lot of times you're in shock you don't even know what's wrong with you so to report hey look i'm not injured i'm just shaken up just i'm shaken up i are you injured i don't know i'm not a doctor right mm -hmm. and and if they offer you uh transportation to a hospital um it's it's not a bad idea to take it just go get checked out give yourself a peace of mind um and if they obviously offer you um they if if you don't take it and you feel pain later on or what have you go to an urgent care uh get checked out the bills will be taken care of at the end of the case fine through any settlement that there is so that's not really an issue for you to worry about let that let that be worried about by, um, you know, by the insurance companies and the lawyers, not you. And again, lastly, Teresa is call lawyer, right? So car accident cases, most of the time I talk to people and I'm like, why didn't you hire an attorney sooner? And they say, oh, well, the fees, well, consultations are free. You should always talk to an attorney before talking to the insurance company at all. Mm -hmm. Those calls are also recorded most of the time in their statements. And, um, you know, the attorney gets a one third contingency fee in the state. So in the event that you're in an accident, right? And uh, there's a fee, um, that fee will come out at the end and it's only contingent on the attorney getting you a settlement. I can tell you any cases that have ever come in my office where they already had an offer and they said, hey, look, Brooke, you know, I, I can you help me with this? Sure. Mm -hmm. We end up co compounding that. Three, we turn $3,000 off, pro se offers into, you know, twenty, thirty thousand $30,000. So my fee at that point becomes irrelevant. Got it. All right, That's so those are the, 
the bottom lines there, make sure that uh, you take those pictures, keep your cool, contact an yep. attorney. Those are the first steps. Attorney Goff, we appreciate all the information. And what's going on at uh, Goff Law Group? Anything exciting? It's busy. The alarm, it's been like, a, it's been very, very busy, like mm -hmm. every week. But this week has been just a little tiny bit off, which is nice. It, it's, you know, but um, it's the, I think the election is doing it, you know, like everybody, mm -hmm. we're all just sucked into the television, right? So um, I, I'm, I'm planning for a very, very busy rest of the year. Cases are settling, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting over that hump where for a little while insurance companies weren't settling. Uh, now cases are settling. Uh, lawsuits are starting to move, which is great. Uh, life as we knew it, the new normal is, is starting to move things along, which is, is, is very, um, it's, it's, it gives a lot of us hope that we'll get back yeah. there eventually. Comforting. All right. Uh, turning off, thank you for your time. And of thank course, you. you can learn more over at thegothlawgroup.net. Thanks, Teresa. Thank